So Donald Trump comes out with the platinum plan. 500 million, 500 million dollars. 500 billion, I'm sorry. 500 billion, a half a trillion dollars for blacks and their communities. And uh, their, you know, their well-being. Meanwhile, you, you white people, you scum. <laughs> you don't deserve anything except for that your money be taken out of your... Hey, even if you are getting welfare, even if you are getting uh, SSI checks, and, uh, you know, you're, you're, maybe you're retired or whatever, those things still get taxed. Politicians don't make money. Politicians don't generate money. You do through your efforts and your time and your back and your labor. $500 billion to joggers. It is staggering to me. That's your, here, there's some of your reparations. Oh my God. Letting people, you know, give our money away, give our time and effort away. That's what we're seeing. Donald Trump, the guy who said that, hey, we can, hey, let the invaders come in. As long as they do it legally, let them come in and destroy your country. And blacks built this place. Don't ever forget that, white man. Oh, my God. I don't know, you know, 500 billion bucks. To, to listen, if you, I have said it before, handouts don't make those people get off their lazy asses and try. Handouts just make you sit back. Hey, they're going to support me no matter what I do. I could burn this place down. In fact, the more burning and looting and murdering I do, the more it seems like these white people are just giving it up. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Anytime you ever think, what am I working for? What are we doing? What is this all for? It's for the betterment of everybody else but you, white man. It's for the betterment of everyone. Except for you, excluding you. They don't give a fuck what happens to you and your family. How do I know that's true? You don't have insurance. Your kids go into schools where they get beaten and smacked around, and made fun of. Because they're white. You think to yourself, well, shit, I'll homeschool them. I'll do this. It doesn't matter. You homeschool them and they jump on their little iPads and their little devices and they, and they get the rhetoric anyway. They get the Marxist ideology and the Black Lives Matter bullshit. No matter. They turn on their video games and, and now. And what do they see? Black Lives Matter on the home screen of their video games. Black Lives Matter. Let's let's have a moment to think and reflect on, the, you know, the horrible, <sighs> disparaging things that happen to black people every day. What are we talking about here? Do you wake up every day? Do you wonder? Uh, do, no. Whenever you start your day, the first thing you do whenever you put your feet down, uh, you know, on the floor, when you, you swing out of bed, I'm sure the very first thing you think about is how can I make these black people pay today? How can I? No, you, you're not doing that. You're not doing it. Oh, God, you're thinking, how am I going to get through this day? God, give me the power to get through this day. Let me have the strength to get through. Black people aren't thinking that. Joggers are not thinking that, okay? They're thinking, hey. How much drugs can I do today? How much, how, much, how much can I sell? What can I do to get over on a white man and, and everything that happened to me? I need my reparations for slavery. You were never a slave. Generations back, you weren't. You could have got up every day like we did and went to work and tried and give it your all and built something, built some generational wealth for yourself and your families. Fuck no. Instead... Hey, man, we're old for what happened to our people. Look, I, I'm a white and I'm Irish. I got a lot of Irish blood in me. Our people were slaves, okay? Our people were, you know, downtrodden. And all the, the, the cues and the words that we hear today being spoken, that could go for a lot of people. A lot of people are descendants of slaves, all right? Not just if you're a black, are you a descendant of a slave? 
Get that out of your head. We all are, all right? Some tribal member had you in chains at some point, had your people in chains, but you don't wake up every day saying, hey, I need reparations. I can't do anything. I can't function in this society as long as I remember that somebody, and who keeps writing these books and teaching these things to these people, telling them that they were, you know, they're victims forever. I think we all know it's been laid out. Anyway, that's what I had for you this morning. You know, guys, it's just, I get so discouraged. $500 billion. Oh my God. All right. Let's get it together.